and good morning everyone welcome to today's stream sorry for the delay i got a little bit uh distracted with getting my machine ready to go so today is the day we are going to take a look at um give me a second and watch the speakers so uh, where well, we are going to take a look at Sonu scores in uh, working together with native instruments. Mallet Flux. Nice little library. Uh, I will post the link for you guys to check it out if you want to after the stream. So, and also hi to all the guys on Twitch. Let me know in the comments where are you watching from. Would love to hear your thoughts and uh, ask questions, whatever you feel during the stream, if you want to know something specifically. Um, let me turn on the mic a little bit more. Uh, so, there, yeah, that should be better. So, um, ba -ba 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 -ba. there we go, Mallet Flux and what can i say it's uh as the name implies a mallet library and uh oh by the way uh most important thing of course uh we thanks to sonoscore we are giving away one copy of mallet flux today so as now i can meanwhile say as usual leave a comment on this Facebook post and at the end of the stream we will randomly select one of the post entries with this little tool here random comment picker I just leave the URL there and then we can see how many commenters we have already right now it's only seven I guess that number will rise towards the end of the stream and hi guys well we have denmark istanbul los cabos germany österreich austria for my non-german speaking friends um yes so let's jump straight in first things first to get things out of the way this is actually my first library that is not a contact five library so you need uh so you don't need to get the full version of contact 6 if you don't have it yet but you definitely need to get the free contact 6 player to run this library so um if you're still like me on contact 5 you need contact 6 to download to run the library uh not of an issue here i can uh run both simultaneously so I have a contact 5 and contact which is the contact 6 player so um, there are no issues on my end running both versions on the same system so without further ado let's jump straight in and take a look at mallet flux okay we have sound that's good so the library comes with two instruments, uh, single instruments and the flux instrument that we will take a closer look on in a little bit. Um, I just want to save this whole thing. So Ukraine, nice. Just so you know, you have pinned to the top of the Facebook post for the Dark Era live stream. Oh, okay. Give me a second. Let me fix this. Um, thanks for the mention there. And by the way, uh, where are we in terms of... Yeah, let's switch this. So, there we go. <coughs> so I just want to fix the pinned post on Facebook. Once the page actually loads, I mean, with streaming and everything, it can take quite a while. So unpin. Done. And let's pin today's post where you can comment to win uh, 
Mallet Flux. So... Bo -bo -bo. Meanwhile, we can do some mysterious mallet music. So, where is actually today's post? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> so... Okay, yeah, we go. So let's pin this one. Pin to the top. Sorry for the delay there. So... Uh, uh, did you delete your writing session that was on uh, YouTube? I didn't delete it. It's right now, it's not public. So... Uh. Okay, let's jump straight in. So we have a single instrument and the mullet flux instrument. Let's take a look at the interface first. So you got your usual controls, envelope, attack and decay. Uh, there are two mic positions. Actually, there is a reverb turned on. Let's switch this off so we just get the initial sound. On the other half of the world, where it's evening, don't fall asleep now. <laughs> so, we have the glockenspiel, and included in the library is glockenspiel, celeste, xylophone, vibraphone, and marimba. So, we just take a close listen to each one of these, uh, one after another. I cover a part of the contact window. Okay, let's put this, this there. Uh, hope that is working better. And also we can just do this and get rid of the camera. So, Glockenspiel, let's check out the Celesta. Just the close. Really lovely sound. And by the way, what I forgot uh, is that you actually have different instruments and key switches. So on C0, you see they're here. So we have hard long. Don't think anything of it. Hard short. Uh, is it straight out of the box? Yeah, it's straight out of the box. So even the close mic. Oh, I don't think it sounds too wet. It's just the uh, decay. So when you turn it down. So then we have the soft longs.
and reverse. I think that works more in combination with the integrated effect. So we have a replica delay and reverb. And also the boat sound might sound great with that. Mod wheel isn't doing anything for the, but I mean, for short percussive instruments, you don't necessarily need this. Uh, so let's go back to the Celesta and turn off the effects again. So for this one, we only have two. Uh, the reverse and the soft longs xylophone sorry I think the hard long is way softer in terms of volume than the soft long. Well, I love bold mallets. So, I mean, we don't. Do you want to hear every mic position on each of the instruments? Or there's not much of a difference in the reverse sounds there. So, vibraphone has a few more uh, switching options. Sorry, blue note. No, we won't go there. Hard short. So, is there any way we can get yesterday's composing stream? <clears throat> I will look into it. Uh, I think I need to edit it a little bit. Soft long. That should be enough. Don't want to run into any issues with the stream and content ID and things like that. Close mic. The missing tubular bell. It's indeed not included, so there is no tubular bell in there. But the sounds are really, really good in my opinion as well. And can we just take a short moment and appreciate this beautiful interface? I really love the graphics. It just looks amazing. I mean, not does it make any difference in terms of the sound, and but it just looks great. And uh, that's something nice to have at least.
so and then reverse last but not least in line we have the marimba come on Close mic. I could also, I think, yeah, play with the decay. sound there a little bit of room and maybe a little bit more room sound Pretty nice. Something that I realized uh, the first note after you hit the key switch still has the uh, mallet sound before it switches to the actual boat sound. Now it's working. The first time there was kind of a strange thing that the mallet sound, the strike was still audible. Well, well. By the way, is there a way to determine the reverse time? So is it actually timed? Doesn't seem like... Uh, seems like it's just reversed. So, um, this is the single instruments that are included. So glockenspiel, slash, xylophone, vibra, vibraphone and marimba. All sounding really good. But uh, obviously it would be a little bit too much, I guess, to just do a mallet library and just do five mallets and good uh they actually did this second instrument which is uh the name giver for the library so the mallet flux instrument and this is where it really gets interesting so uh whoever is familiar with their the orchestra library uh they kind of built this contact internal sequencer thingy uh, and they took that a step further with um, Mallet Flux. And I think the, the easiest way to understand what this is doing is to just play a bunch of the patches. So you got a preset browser here um, where you can load different patches. Uh, and we will take a look at the whole instrument in a little bit in, in more depth. So just playing some patches first. Let's see. 
Okay, we can then load here as well. So that's a bunch of presets there. So let's start from the top. Uh, 16th ARP. Let's take the tempo down to 100, say. multiple arpeggiators in one. So the dynamic or mod wheel uh, controls the, yeah, how can I say it? The <coughs> overall volume of the individual steps of these uh, five sequences. And I wonder if we can actually make this a little bit bigger, but it doesn't look like. Oh, yeah, <laughs> you click on it. Okay, thanks so much. So, yeah, you define the steps. I think this is where the maximum is and this is where the minimum is. Yeah, so this is the maximum value when you move the mod wheel and this is the minimum. So when you turn this down, it would go all the way down, so you're missing out the first step there. Yeah, and this is nice that you can actually define this this way, because like you see here, when you move the mobile down, you can bring up other stuff, and when you move it up, you can bring down other stuff. So you can uh, create really interesting rhythmic textures there. Okay, let's jump through some more here. Well, let's try some triplet stuff. Someone really put some thought into the presets, definitely. That's nice. Um, what else do we have? And then we have these flux instruments. Beat, I think that's close to just a rhythmic element. nice then we have um not triplets odd meters like five eighth
So basically you get the idea. What strikes me a little bit is um, when you, especially when you go through all these instruments, it um, can tend to get a little bit samey, uh, obviously, because you have five mullet instruments that are striked with um, various ways in, in time and in triplets in 16th and 8th notes. And um, so you have kind of, I don't think it's an issue because usually you don't do like 10 tracks with just the ARPs. Um, there is a very nice demo on, on the Sonoscore web website where they, give me a second. <laughs> My dog was just asking to get out. Um, so, uh, there's a nice demo where you can actually see how they're doing the track just with uh, Mallet Flux. So it sounds really cool. Um, but I want to see it more as a complementary instrument and uh, just work with it. Um, on a little track. So before we go further, let me just remind everyone of today's giveaway, thanks to Sonoscore. So just leave a comment on this Facebook post and you can actually win a copy of Mallet Flux today. Are you German? Yes, I am. So, I want to do some kind of uh, hopefully intricate TV stuff um, underscoring. So, let's make this short and name this Mullet Flux. So this is actually my template that I've loaded here. So let's bring in some some instruments. I just want to make sure that we see this when we have all cues on. And I also have Mallet Flux, the single instruments already in here. So, so this is the same that we just had uh, in the single instruments. Uh, the only difference is that this is um, sitting in my Vienna Ensemble Pro, which is here. So that's actually on my uh, slave computer. But overall, you can see that the instruments are the same here, so that's Mallet Flux in there. Oh, sorry. Uh, Pabellotsky, for the sake of having everyone take part in the conversation, it would be great if you could switch to English, please. It's just that nobody that is watching is actually reading German. Well, just a very tiny part of the people. So if you want to communicate with the others, it might be good to switch to English there. Thanks. So let's do something here. I say let's start with uh, 90, something like that. Okay, um, and since we loaded this, I just want to 
change. Football. Need the mixer. So the mallet flux. We want to send this to the tuned percussion. Obviously. Percussion. Percussion toner. There we go. Okay. And turn that way down because that's just too loud. So that back up and let's just s select one single patch that we are going to start with. Something to trigger an idea. So these are, oh, we're still in the odd meters. I wonder, as they have been developing these instruments, how often they made bad jokes about <laughs> these instrument <laughs> namings or articulation namings. Uh, I won't go into detail on that. Uh, so. What did I do? Why did it change to... So let's actually art quantize this. Oh, whoop. there we go. So, and Maybe we bring guy in later. Yeah, there's a nice rhythmic variation there. So when you just hit three notes, you suddenly get this triplet feel or uh, three over four feel, not triplet. Actually, it's dotted, not three over four. Sorry for that. That's nice. So let's see what the mod wheel is doing. Uh, turn it all the way down. So let's duplicate this. And I'll uh, do a little bit of a mod wheel curve here. So let's see how this sounds. Starting really soft. I think we can uh, already do. There, sorry for that. Whenever there's an instrument to be loaded, uh, my mic switches off for a short moment. Um, so let's take a different patch here. Sequence, arm, or maybe a flux.
There's um Yeah, I think that sounds better. Let's see how that sounds. Oh, which key are we in? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, C minor, okay. Actually, let's switch this to G minor. G, 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 G minor. So that sounds like this. It's too much of a ba ba feel. I don't like that too much. So maybe try a different sound here. Hmm, that one's nice. And especially when you do this as a pedal note, meaning you keep it um, on the same note even when the chords change. Let's see how that sounds. Click. That should be good enough to um, just give it a little bit of a um, tension movement uh, to not go totally um, We should bring in some strings underneath. Suddenly we are so sad. Let's see where this is taking us. Let's take a singles man there. where this is going. I don't want to hard quantize these. There's some notes sticking out a little bit.
just a quick reminder in case you want to win this library that we are working with right now leave a comment on this facebook post and we will do a random drawing of uh, one winner who will get a copy of mallet flux so definitely leave a comment also hit the um, down here the subscribe and bell button if you want to be notified for future videos live streams reviews simple hands-on and things like that turn the strings a little bit down they're a little bit up front and I also want to do a little bit of percussion that is not mallet based um, just need to find something mm, try this If I could actually play in time, that would be helpful. There's a problem only when you do want to do subtle. It's too subtle is also not good. shaker just two bars here also I want to randomize that a little bit Just a little bit. Like that. And I think maybe we bring in the shaker just on the second repetition. Let's I want to try to like fade in or reverse the sound a little bit. It's too short actually to really do this. Um, okay, so we're gonna we're gonna do something else here. I just take this, quantize it, and actually r just render this um, 
short little snippet uh, to audio is a uh, vibraphone. So I want to render this and I want to include it as an audio track. Okay, it's a large template that takes a little bit to export two bars of audio. Um, anyway, we have this little thingy here right now. And obviously I want to send <coughs> to percussion tonal, bring it down a little bit. And now we can reverse the audio. There we go. And That's what I want to have, like just a short little intro. And obviously we can delete this again. And let's build this whole thing a little bit more. So we have a marimba, we have the shakers. Actually, let's bring in the shakers only in the second half. And also, uh, let's start with the with the pedal note, just in the second run. <laughs> So let's bring in like boom or something. Just a very subtle one. So. Why do you export and don't use render in place? Because render in place doesn't work with multi return instruments. So when I would render in place this um, this uh, single vibraphone element here, it would give me in return um, very much uh, all these channels as a rendered audio. It's kind of an issue with Cubase that it doesn't work with rec instruments, but only with track instruments. So that's why I'm using the export function there. And we do the boom on every first beat there. Something's missing there. The percussion, obviously. Um, let's add in some more stuff here. I uh, think some of the... That one sounds good. Just... Bring it down way much. So, also do the symbol roll here again. Actually, let's do it like this. So, there we go. sure that the mod wheel is correct there so
So, uh, the square in the track lane bothers me. Square in the track lane? Not sure what you mean. Um, I just want to do some additional. And first of all, copy the strings. And bring it down a little bit. So the jump to the low strings again is not too obvious. Little tip on the side when you have want to loop something that uh, keeps evolving, try to bring it down towards the end uh, so the jump isn't too obvious when it goes down again. Oh, okay, gotcha, where the track pictures are supposed to be. So, anyway. Uh Not sure if I do a mallet solo there on top. Um, I think we have a quite a good amount of mallets going on already. Um, let's duplicate this and see if we do just one more. Um, may I recommend Alex Walbank for some mallet inspiration? <laughs> Thanks for the tip there. So, but let's take a look. Uh, either we take another Mellow Flux. We had this, so... I think something more basic in eighth notes or something would be more appropriate here. Or Flux Morph. Let's go bonkers and do something triplets on top. Maybe that's the way to go there. Reminds me a lot of Zimmer's interstellar score from, from the sounds of it. I don't know why. It's kind of the overall feel. Nice, uh, strange kind of vibe uh, being not in the 16th grid. So that's pretty cool. I like that. So let's quantize this. So. That sounds pretty cool. And this is triplets. Maybe we'll give it a little bit more. Well, software will just see. I'm not sure about that yet. I have. I don't know why, but I feel that we can kind of go on with this and uh, with this interstellar feel. Interstellar feel. Uh, so let's add some woodwinds there on top.
triplet feel. That's gonna be tough. Um, well, no, it's not. Let's change. No, let's not change. So, and when we do this in triplets, it should actually work. Obviously way too loud. So we take the triplet patch and do eight triplets. Uh, quantize the length. No, oh, actually, we do fourth note. So, and uh, it sounds strange right now, but when we actually, since I defined the length to be one eighth, no, I didn't do it. <laughs> Damn it. So, eighth triplet. What is going on? Eight triplet. Oh, come on. I just want to shorten all the notes. There we go. Okay. <laughs> also, this also way too loud. The whole system is a little bit laggy because of the streaming at the same time, so I hope we are good to go on. Mm. Let's slam on some of the clarinet. I mean, you could define that as inspired by. I mean, I had no idea I'm going to come up with something a little bit interstellar-like sounding when I started out the stream, but you never know where inspiration drives you. And I mean, it's a great score, so doing something that sounds a little bit alike is not the worst thing to do. Try this. Also bring this down. So what do we have here? Um 
Okay, this is all together. Finish this off with a boom. I'm really doing the short walkthrough here today. Uh, and just want to do a little cue. Uh, one minute of audio. And I really like where this is taking us. Let's duplicate the woodwinds here with the piccolo. This is the portamento short. Whoa, 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 whoa. The only downside is when you don't start uh, on the beat uh, that all the mallet uh, flux sequences are out of sync. Let's add in a little bit of brass there for the last part. Legato actually needs to come back by around about 190 milliseconds. Roundabout. So we will fill this up a little bit.
like that. Copy that over, just the last boom. I don't think we even need that. So let's listen to the whole thing so far. Uh, last call, by the way, if you want to take part in today's, tonight's uh, random drawing of um, the giveaway. We're giving away one copy of Mallet Flux. Uh, leave your comment under this Facebook post that I just linked. So you can win a copy of Mallet Flux, the library, very library that we are just having a hands on today. So right now, one out of 50 is going to win this. Um, I really love the concept of the library with a with a um, with a sequencer engine. I mean, we haven't even. Let's do this. Let's uh, do one last thing here. Let's do one last thing here that we haven't done yet. We haven't even looked at the uh, deeper uh, functionality of the sequencer. So the only thing that I did is actually switch one patch off that I didn't like there. So let's load up the basic morph patch, for example, here. So obviously you can switch off all the other sounds. And you can see here uh, that the sequences can run in different tempi. So Obviously, this one is running uh, in 16th, whereas the glockenspiel is running in, where do we see this, 1 fourth. You can also do like, uh, oh, you can define the length. And again, we had a look at this with a mod wheeler. You can define how much each step comes up or down. So that's very nice. And you got all the sequences inside here. Uh, I just realized that you can't really Maybe that's the thing for a future update. So you can switch it on and off here, but you can't do it here as it seems, unless I am missing something. But I don't think that you can switch it on here. That would be good if we go through and switch on and off. So you need to close it, switch it on, and then. And another thing is that you can also play chords and define which of these voices is playing which part of the chord. So the lowest note, the highest note, uh, also a concept that they have taken from their um, orchestra library, the orchestra, uh, where the sequencer is even more elaborate with a lot of more uh, instruments like strings and woodwinds and things like that. So let's just fiddle around a little bit. Let's open all these. Let's go into the sequencer. So for the glockenspiel. So I can... Okay, I can solo it here. That's nice. And for example here, I could define that I want for the xylophone want to have only the middle voice. So right now when I play G minor, it's playing the B in the middle. So go on to the vibraphone. 
it says play top three notes, uh, I say just play the top two notes. So, and the one we have them together, the Celesta, let's solo this. Top three notes, no, play just the lowest note. And the marimba. Uh, marimba is playing. Let's just play the lows two. And one octave up. So, and now, when I unsolo, So that's really nice uh, distributing uh, the chords through the different instruments. And when you play wider chords, you even get a more wider soundscape. So that's pretty cool. So other than that, the um, sequencer obviously has all the usual functionalities like um, let's take a look at this yeah you can bring down the overall what do I do oh you can move this whole thing to the right or to the left So you can really play around and uh, do a bunch of uh, funny stuff there. You can't really draw a curve in the in the overview for everything. And here you oh you also have uh, filters and uh, modulation that you can do. Let me check this. I mean a low pass filter uh on a on a <laughs> instrument like a glockenspiel is pretty useless. You're close to gun after 200 hertz anyway. So <laughs> you won't get any sub bass out of that. And it seems there is no way to actually By the way, here is that you can reactivate the instruments again in the mix but not in the matrix as it seems when you're editing. So yeah, that's so much for the sequencer. Uh, little track that we did is this one. Let's give it a listen again. Very short, but very nice. Little Q could easily work as like some type of underscore. I mean, it's <laughs> obviously a little bit um, interstellar inspired, but um, I like it. So we'll see if we do something more with it later on. But for now, that's uh, good enough to showcase. Uh, I really think that it's triggering some inspiration, uh, the Mallet Flux library, so it really can uh sound really good and yeah that's it for now
So last things to do would be to take a look at our giveaway. So one of you lucky guys is going to win, guys or girls, 56 entries. Uh, just to make sure, so you can see here when the page has loaded actually, that this is the post we're talking about. So I wonder you decide to stream on uh, why stream uh, on YouTube and Twitch? Well, it's uh, it's kind of just to to whoever prefers which medium to uh, join these streams. Uh, I don't think that anything any one is better than the other. It's just different. Uh, but by the way, with the streaming, uh, talking about streaming, the website takes ages to load here right now. So come on. I mean, you know that this is the Facebook post we're talking about. Otherwise, we couldn't draw a random comment from the comments that you just did. So uh, I just want to make it clear. Uh, it's taking ages right now. I'm sorry for that. Uh, I hope the drawing actually works. So let's take a look again. Last time we... Okay, now we have Z here, 57. <laughs> Simon 50, sorry. <laughs> Germish. Um, brrr, without further ado, let's hit the random winner button and I will get in touch with the winner after the drawing. Uh, there we go. So this is uh, all the comments that we have today. So let me put on some mysterious music. One of you lucky guys will be the owner of a brand new library by Sonoscore and Native Instruments named Mallet Flux. So without further ado, one of you guys that commented on this Facebook post we are at 58 right now will win this beauty of a sample library so enjoy Lucas Greslin congrats I didn't time the final of the piece with, with a random drawing. But well, Lucas, congrats on winning Mallet Flux. Uh, have fun with the library. I get in touch with you on Facebook uh, and get you in touch with Sonoscore. Uh, thanks for watching today's stream. And uh, if you like the library, go out and buy it if you didn't win it. So the website is sonoscore.com. Or also, I think you can also purchase it on the Native Instruments website. Uh, so nativeinstruments.com. It's a very nice little library. Uh, not even as little because with the sequence of functionality, it actually can get pretty, pretty big. It's 199 uh, euros. So yeah, thanks for watching the stream and have a wonderful weekend. No stream next week. I'll be off to Hawaii and uh, expect a social media <laughs> stream of <laughs> beautiful beaches and white sand. Other than that, uh, see you in two weeks uh, with... Uh, there's a bunch of stuff coming. I'll let you know on Facebook. So enjoy. Have a good one.